بسم اللہ السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس وی آر موونگ اہیڈ ود ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک وچ از کالڈ دا کمپلائنس ود ود دی کوڈ آف کارپوریٹ گورننس وی بین ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا کوڈ آف کارپوریٹ گورننس ان ادر سیشنس بٹ ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ اٹس کمپلائنس ناؤ لیڈیز اینڈ جینمن آل لسٹڈ کمپنیز ہیو ٹو کمپلائی ود دا کوڈ آف کارپوریٹ گورننس آل کمپنیز ہیو ٹو پبلش اینڈ ڈسٹریبیوٹ اینڈ رپورٹس اینڈ دا اسٹیٹمنٹ آف کمپلائنس ود دا بیسٹ پریکٹسز آف دا کارپوریٹ گورننس سو اگین whatever we've been talking about in corporate governance it has to be incorporated in those reports it has to be published and it has to be distributed and if any stakeholder or any member of the public wants to get a copy of this report then that also has to be made available nowadays what we see is is that the organizations tend to publish or print lesser uh, lesser number of the reports and they have the softer copy and that soft copy is available on the website or if it is not available then on any specific request they tend to send that soft copy for the availability of any stakeholder or any shareholder which is a very good way forward now in these reports like we've been talking about previously there are various elements which have to be fulfilled and again that basically is a compliance statement that the organization is following the code of corporate governance now uh, all the statements that will be published by the company should be audited before being distributed now this is also very important and we talked about the importance of the audit committee and that audit co- committee also tends to oversee the audit of all of the reports and of all of the statements which are very important and it is extremely important that no misstatement should be given because that can lead to a lot of penalties and that can also lead uh, to uh, a lot of curtailments which can take place against the company and therefore those statements have to be vetted by the management and also by the board and also by the uh, audit committee just to ensure that everything is fulfilling the highest levels of integrity and also the highest standardizations of corporate governance the securities exchange commission of pakistan has the power to intervene in the compliance process of the company in case if the compliance with the best practices is not possible for the company then the securities exchange commission can intervene so therefore the securities exchange commission of pakistan has a regulatory oversight on the companies and therefore it is very essential for the companies to follow all of those codes and also adhere to those compliances and those international best practices of corporate governance or otherwise the securities exchange commission can take over even the management or replace the management or uh, uh, do some other intervention to ensure that the uh, company is following the code of corporate governance and that is extremely important the secp has the authority to relax the practices according to the specified conditions of the case however case to case what we see is is that sometimes the secp can uh, relax the conditions and ensure that the organization does not tend to buckle uh, in its own weight and therefore uh, the role of the secp uh, is extremely important but is also facilitatory and is not uh, demetri whereby uh, there could be a collapse of the organization it can be flexible uh, but within that flexibility uh, there has to be a compliance of the good uh, practices and of the code of corporate governance thank you so much